Hello, everybody. It's time to talk about DX Engineering. It's Tuesday, so it's Tuesdays with DX Engineering. And today we have Troy Blair, AC8OW, part of the DX Engineering sales and support team. Hello, Troy. Hello, Tim, and everybody on YouTube and Facebook. And Troy, what are we going to talk about today? You've got some really interesting stuff. So we have been hard at work just trying to make all of uh, a bunch of new products just for portable operators, guys that like and gals that like to go out in the field and, and make things happen portable. And well, so that, that, that is really cool. Let's let's start off with uh, your first one here. Uh, you want to talk about Pac Tenna? So yeah, Pac Tenna is a new brand that for us they've been around quite a while. Uh, but we just brought them on board. Happy to have them with us. And they specialize in uh, lightweight backpack style uh, antennas, mostly end feds that can be used uh, pretty much anywhere. You've got a, a tree or a, a, a low hanging uh, eave or somewhere you can clip that into. So they have a, a lot of different things here. Um, you know, this... Uh, this infed here that's $110, but uh, talk about how uh, what bands this can operate on. What can you do with this, Troy? So it's a multi-band non-resident. It uses a uh, a nine to one on on. So you show up at a park, you uh, use a. Uh, I like to use an arborist bag just to toss a, a rope up in a tree to get that end up in the air, and uh, put the balance somewhere low close to the the radio so I can use as short of a coax as possible. And uh, with a tuner, you can pretty much get, uh, it works real well. I've used this one uh, real well from, from 40 through 10, uh, but it is capable of, with a, the right tuner of, of doing uh, 80 through 10. So if I go to um, the DX Engineering portable mount, do you see that? Uh, we're still looking at the pac -tena. Okay. Let me know if it shifts. If not, I can do it another way. Still the pack tenna? Yes. Okay, so we will go uh, back and start sharing again. And let's share. DX Engineering. Here we go. How about that, Troy? So this was a really cool product. This one and the, probably the next one we're going to look at there. But, you know, we talk a lot about HF in the field and lots of different wire antennas and vertical antennas for HF. But especially in MCOM and some people really like VHF, UHF contesting. How do you get a VHF, UHF antenna uh, easily deployed out in the field? And so we have come up with this mobile mount antenna that fits on top of our uh, Nomad masks or any similar uh, fiberglass telescopic mask. That's what the center hole will feed right up through the middle of it. You can kind of see the red mask there in that second picture. Um, and it uses uh, any of the uh, radialist design mobile antennas. Uh, Comet has some, Diamond has, has some really nice high gain, uh, non-radial dependent uh, antenna, VHF, UHF antennas. So this allows you to get your VHF, UHF antenna, you know, 20 to 23 feet in the air at the base and, and up from there. So we all know height is might when it comes to VHF and UHF. So this is a nice, easy way to take and mount a mobile antenna for portable operations without having to drag along a, a much larger mast and, and a base antenna. That, that's just beautiful. I, you know, and it's, and it can happen quickly. That's the, that's the other nice thing, whether you're POTA or an emergency situation, right? Right. Even, you know, anybody pretty much can have that up. Uh, I timed myself doing this one and the next one in about three and a half to four minutes uh, to get it up in the air and plugged into the radio and working. Uh, that's very good. Um, let's uh, let's see here. We got the next one uh, up here in a 
second. And let's go to that. How about this, Troy? So this is, I, I like the, uh, the name Rod put on it. It's called the Dual Duck. Uh, but it's basically a VHF, UHF uh, antenna mount that, again, fits on top of our Nomad masks. Uh, and it allows you to use two uh, HT antennas, such as, uh, you know, Comet or, or Diamond or any of the other uh, HT antennas. Uh, there I was when we put it on with a couple of just factory Yesu antennas. Uh, and again, just much quicker, smaller. You could fit that whole thing in your uh, cargo pants pocket if you had to and, and take it with you. It's got a, this one particularly has the BNC connector just for size and weight restrictions, but uh, you can literally take a mast mounted VHF UHF antenna with you everywhere. The other nice thing about this is as it is, you can use it as a dipole, uh, but those two connectors are labeled radiator and counterpoise. So, and it comes with a 90 degree adapter. So if you wanted to put it as a vertical, you just put that 90 degree adapter on your radiator side and then put your antenna on the uh, upwards portion of that 90 degree angle adapter. And you've got a vertical versus a dipole. Uh, yeah. We'll note that both of those have uh, attached points on the corners so that you can attach guy wires to them as well or guy lines. So that that is that is really cool. Let's um, let's go to the next one here. Uh, you picked out some real winners here. We got um, how about the RG one seventy four high visibility orange coax? So a lot of times the heaviest thing we drag into the field with us is our coax. So we have searched and and come up with a really nice high visibility uh, coax. It can be taken into the field. It has BNC connectors on it. Uh, again, small, lightweight, easy to pack. And I've got a 35 foot section of this in my backpack and it adds hardly any weight at all. Uh, RG174 at shorter distances still does very well at being a nice little loss cable. And, and you've got uh, jumpers as well, right? We've got uh, 1.5 yep. feet, three feet, um, but, you know, 25, 35, 50, um, and it is, uh, you know, when, when you look at the, at the loss, um, even on 20 meters and 15 meters, as long as you're using the minimum amount of coax, it's not that bad, right? Exactly. And, and that's what, you know, I always tell people you want to try and avoid having large amounts of coax wadded up just uh, either cut it or or order it to the size that you need, and you're going to be much more efficient. So let's go on to the, your next slide. Uh, talk talk about the Poda two. So actually, that that whole page there is all of our portable operations kits, and so uh, we've got Poda kits that are made up in backpacks. We've got, as you can see there, HTs. If you just want an HT to keep in your trunk for a just-in-case situation, uh, all kinds of portable operations uh, kits designed to help you get on the air regardless of where you are. Uh, if it's an MCOM situation and you want everything in a hard case, we've got that. Um, or, or if you want a backpack to, to just take out with you on a, a Saturday afternoon to do a photo activation, we have that as well. Um, we also have different ones that are up there. They are GMRS. So if your family wants a communications kit that they can carry with them to take to events or for just in case scenarios, uh, we have several different uh, GMRS packages. You can apply for a GMRS license. One license covers the whole family and you're all set. So, it, it, and you've got these with uh, not only GMRS, but Yesu radios, ICOM radios. So, um, you know, this this is a really powerful page because, you know, uh, Troy, when you assembled these, you know, working with Michael Murphy and uh, John Miller, you guys assembled this stuff. This is all the stuff you use. I mean, you're out doing parks all the time. This this is uh, right. This is exactly the kind of stuff we would take with us. 
um you know i i am now up to uh, 25 parks just this this summer uh for poda and i i love the the hobby i love uh helping other people get involved in it and that's why we we came up with these kits so that somebody can can order that kit and have everything they need every connector every uh cable that they need is in that kit they don't have to open that that box from dx engineering and say oh man i forgot to order this cable or i forgot to order that connector it, it, it's just like the spaghetti sauce it's in there <laughs> right and so let's go uh to a couple of um items that you have here from from carlson and uh, i think this will be uh be nice too T talk about this this product the carlson drive on mass stand so one of the one of the issues that a lot of activators have is how to get something up in the air. Uh, I, I read stories on on Facebook uh, in the, the user groups for Poda that you know rangers don't let them put spikes in the ground or rangers won't let them you know put wires up in the trees. Well, we have these drive-on masts that make it very simple. You you put it together, and you can slide our Nomad mast right down in that collar, and now you have a 19 or 23 foot uh, masks up in the air. You can also use some of our taller uh, telescopic fiberglass masks in there as well. Uh, very easy to to do. You, you just kind of don't don't fall all the way forward when you first get there, and you jump out, slide that in front of your tire, and drive right on it. And now that's it, it's it's that simple. I mean, that's really really cool. And um, we have uh, another. Carlson uh, skew here that you asked me to pick out uh, the drive on mask, this packages along with. So, um, yeah. so the red ones are very heavy duty. Uh, so if you're going to be using like our 46 foot uh, mast and uh, things that are going to be more susceptible to the wind and putting a, a vertical antenna on top of that, these are the ones you want to use. They are, they're going to weigh close to 50 pounds after you get it assembled but you know that your mast is going to be secured out in the field nice yeah that's really really well done and uh we did the pack tenna geez that's a lot of stuff that we covered here today uh troy and uh just want to go into the chat room real quick and uh we have uh from sweden at sugar mike six yankee echo charlie and from scotland golf mike zero golf mike november and Rodney, Alpha Echo 5 Tango X-Ray, great to see all the POTA stuff. Looking forward to getting into activating in 2026 after retirement. And uh, he's a hunter uh, so far, and uh, he's loving it. Our good friend Mike Mowry, Kilo Echo 3 Juliet Papa from up in Greenville, Pennsylvania. And uh, James, loving the products and ideas in the DX Engineering Catalog and website. Michael's on with us, November 4, Alpha Mike Victor, Alpha e Alpha India 5, X-Ray Radio, and also X-Ray Echo 2, Zulu, Zulu. Gary, Whiskey 9, X-Ray Tango, POTA is so much fun, been activating just over a year and have 3,200 QSOs with 5 watts and a mobile whip. Wow. So, uh, like you say, Troy, it doesn't take much. It, it doesn't, and it's it's really nice. You know, I'll get off in the evening. Uh, I'm blessed to be kind of on the south shore of Lake Erie here and just riddled with lots of little parks so I can get off and run up and activate a park for a couple hours and still have dinner with my wife. <laughs> so. Right, and, you know, uh, our friend Mike Murphy is on with us, Kilo ND8 Radio in the chat room. And, of course, Michael is part of the DX Engineering Sales and Support Team. And uh, he says plenty of great weather. I mean, this weather is just perfect when the temperature is in the 70s uh, in oh. Ohio and Pennsylvania. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of activities, whether it be the, the Pennsylvania QSO parties coming up. This weekend is one of the big ones. The California QSO party is going to be a yeah. lot of activity going on. Um, so, you know, you've got all these other events plus parks on the air. So, and if you, if you have questions about POTA, just come to DX Engineering. Give us a call, send us an email. We'll do everything we can to help you. Troy, thanks so much for being on today. 
It's been fun, Tim. All right. And thanks to all of you for watching. Hope you learned a thing or two or three. And I hope to hear you on the air. Until next time, 73 from DX Engineering. 73.